<laughs> Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the building. Can y'all give it up for Miss Jenkins? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Hear my name. He is your name. <laughs> Jesus. He can hear your name. <laughs> is our church announcement this man and govern yourself accordingly? Auditions for the Spring Jubilee stage <laughs> production of 12 Years a Slave. You got that, breath? Yes. 12 Years a Slave <laughs> is going to be held on Saturday. And we're looking for real dark-skinned members. <laughs> now you know what, Miss Bernice? With naturally nappy hair. Oh! <laughs> that don't mind getting hit a few times <laughs> with a small whip. <laughs> And you got to be able to holler. <laughs> okay. Hair crack, you on the darker side. You can let's let's try it out. Let's, let's turn the music down, Craig. Let's try it out. See can you holler? <laughs> I think you should go down there and audition. I have to go I'm cool now. I'll voice act it though. <laughs> Happy 30th birthday to brother Hubert Maxwell, <laughs> who's been a faithful member here since he was a little boy. He was born with a full third arm on his right side. <laughs> Always appreciate him for sitting next to mother Bringwell, who was born with no left arm. <laughs> So he uses his hand to help, help take communion and clap when the choir sings. <laughs> Brad, when God gave you extra, you have to share. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that nice? That's so sweet, Miss Bernice. <laughs> condolences, condolences, condolences. <laughs> To Brother Glover, I'm sorry, Grover Tucker. Y'all know Brother Lord Jesus, Lord! <laughs> brother Grover Tucker, Tucker, who turned 97 on last Sunday. Oh. You know, he was uh, called to glory oh. Monday morning. Oh. And he been sick with hypertension, <laughs> bad knees, <laughs> hay fever. <laughs> Split ends, <laughs> ankle spasms, <laughs> throat swelling, <laughs> and uncontrollable shorts. <laughs> he said, What? Uncontrollable what? Shorts. <laughs> Shots, baby. Oh, when you think you got the fart. <laughs> but it's a little extra in there. It's a little extra in there. Yeah, baby, you go home and take a bath. Pull your drawers off and you got your little muddy pie crust. A moon pie. Yeah, them shots ain't no joke. When you can feel it, you knew when you didn't shot it. It's the difference between fought it and shot it. When you fought it, it's just air. But when you shot it, it's just a little extra. A little extra. Baby, I just want to say something before you start. You, Ricky. Yes, ma'am. You know you read that song. Well, I tried to do what I can, Miss Jenkins. I tried to read it. And now all that stuff that's going on with Eddie Murphy and Cat Hart what? is pitiful. <laughs> Miss Bernice, it's Ed, I mean, it's not Eddie Murphy. I mean, it's Kevin Hart and Cat Williams. Oh, whatever it was, whatever their name is. Okay. They shouldn't do it. Oh. They shouldn't do it. What, all, what both of them need to do is come and do something for Women's Day. <laughs> And at our church tea and help us raise money for the building fund. 
We got a leak in the balcony. Right. There's a leak in this old balcony. And my soul has got to move. Oh, my soul has got to move. Oh, my soul has got to move. There's a leak in this old balcony. And my soul has got to move. There's a building that was made by man. Oh, and can I make a quick correction? It's, yeah. it's eight to nine minutes before the top of the hour. I said after. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had missed my book. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, <Jenny>, good morning. <laughs> you know I know them songs. <laughs> The Usher Bar going to ask all the overweight members to please not sit on the same side of the church. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor said all the fat people sat on one side last Sunday and it threw them off. <laughs> because from the pulpit, it looked like the congregation was leaning to the left. <laughs> <laughs> made him lightheaded. And he started standing up leaning a certain way because he thought the church was leaning. He don't know if that was his blood pressure. About the <laughs> pray hard. Pray hard. Pray hard. Pray hard this morning for our church security guard, Brother Eddie Paz. Janie, you know Brother Eddie Paz? Yeah. He's 77 years old, and he had to call 119 for this morning. Because <laughs> he was watching the parking lot during Sunday school and tried to use a taser on two thugs <laughs> that was breaking in cars, and he had it backwards and shot himself in the chest three times. <laughs> I hope you don't sue yourself. Janie, you know 93 year old mother, uh, you know mother, mother Jubilee Newsom. Lord, I got some bad news. Yeah. She was called home to be with Jesus on yesterday afternoon. Lord Jesus, Lord, I didn't know she was called. Lord Jesus, my friend, Jesus, that was my friend. What happened to her? Called home yesterday. Lord, why they put it in the announcement before they, oh, Lord, they should have told me. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I love Mother Jubilee Newsom. Don't you ever say nothing bad about Mother Jubilee Newsom. Oh, you know, she been going through some stuff. She been battling pink eye. Mercury poisoning. Musty eyelashes. Loose. Must, musty eyelashes. How you get musty eyelashes? Loose bowels. <laughs> Kidney bricks. <laughs> bricks. And chronic yeast infection. <laughs> <laughs> but that ain't what killed her. <laughs> what finally killed put her in the box was her grandkids had stopped to eat at Arby's and got her a beef and cheddar sandwich, and it was so good. It was so good that she took a big bite. And that loose meat. And that hot melted cheese got jammed up in a <laughs> got jammed up in the dentures and she couldn't chew it right and swallow a whole row top teeth and choke to death. <laughs> Gentlemen, you hear the music. Can y'all show some love for Miss Bernice Jenkins? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Bernice. Good morning, Brad. I love you know Jane. Yeah. Hey. You know, Brett, that's my grandbaby. <gasps> Brett. Yeah. A lot of people didn't know that was my grandbaby. Ah, uh, she's so cute, 
Yes. Yeah, that's yes, your... Yes, Jamie. Yes. Yeah. You're a good child now. Yeah. I just kind of take, you know, I just kind of take on, she come over there and eat and lay across the floor and watch TV, watch Price is Right with me. I love the Price is Right, Miss Bernice. Now, y'all know this now. We need to raise some money, Jamie. <laughs> To get Deacon Stanley Gibbs out of jail. Oh, Lord. You know, he 87 years old. <laughs> and he got locked up yesterday because he had rented the movie 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> <laughs> and, and was returning it to the red box. Oh, Lord. And, and was so mad about the movie that he grabbed an old white man who was coming out of Walgreens and choked him to sleep in the parking lot. <laughs> Choke to sleep. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to Brother Wallace Burwell. You know, bro Brother Wallace Burwell, Jamie, who finally, finally won custody of his uh, battle. He finally won custody battle against his ex-wife Patricia. That, that evil yellow heifer then kept his twin daughters away from him since 1975. And now he got custody of both of them. Sherry and Mary, uh, they are now 43 years old. They're gonna be moving in with Brother Burwell this weekend. And he... He has already signed them up both to get baptized, and they're going to be singing in the children's choir. <laughs> <laughs> Janie, y'all know the Hunter family? Yeah. The Hunter family, they uh, said that the homegoing service for their son, Gerald, will be on Monday. Now, you know, he was 29, and he had been staying with his mama, Sister Clara Hunter, since he got out of prison in November. And uh, he was in the Crips, <laughs> and his gang was named, his gang name was Big Greasy. <laughs> <laughs> he was five foot six and weighed almost, <laughs> weighed almost 400 pounds. <laughs> the boy had, the boy had sugar, high blood pressure, bad circulation, <laughs> Breathing problems, sweaty lungs, and his heart was real nervous. But Jane, that ain't what killed him. What killed him? <laughs> he, died. he died after his mama had asked him to open up, open up them big extra pillberry biscuits. <laughs> and it popped open so loud he had a heart attack. <laughs> I wish that would. I got a house phone. <laughs> you got to get down yeah. with, the, with the mobile. Don't need that. I talk directly to Jesus. All right, now. If more y'all blacks, uh, blacks talk directly to the Lord, you wouldn't have a phone bill. <laughs> and you have, more, you have more money to put in church. Even Janie then went out and got Janie. Yeah. Why you won't get now one of those new phones and why you got a flip phone? I'm too old. Well, I'm uh, not brain no function like they used to. Uh-huh, well, I tell and you I what. I ain't got time. I tell you what. I'm not getting no app. <laughs> I already got an app. The What's app that? is called Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need no telephone if you call on the Lord. Yes. You don't need to text nobody. You, you can just text the Lord in your mind. That's right. And you're, up, you're letting all these people get your money, and you ain't got no money to buy you no groceries. Jesus got it all for you. Get rid of all, get rid of all these cell phones and just call on the Lord. Won't he do it? He will work it out. Yes. And, and he done gave you a house phone. What you need a cell phone for? They can't leave you no message. You can call them back. <laughs> they can leave you a message on the I wish I would let a Negro call me in my car while I'm driving. <laughs> Interrupting your drive. Interrupting my drive and my time with the Lord. <laughs> Ooh, that ain't nothing but Satan.
I uh, hear that church announcement this morning. <laughs> all members, all members who plan to go see the pastor preach at First Calvary AME on next Sunday, 3 p.m. service, need to wear tennis shoes and carry some pepper spray. <laughs> okay. Y'all know Reverend Hicks over there is married to our pastor's wife, Beverly. And they got to fight when they seen each other last seen each other last time and he went over there to preach. <laughs> Did y'all know that? No. That Reverend Hicks over there is married to our pastor's first wife, Beverly. <laughs> she is married to the pastor over here, now she's married to the pastor over there. No one him mercy. <laughs> They make me sick running from preacher to preacher. <laughs> now the uh, the pastor wants to apologize to associate pastor Reverend Watkins for last Sunday. He thought that he was going to get to uh, preach, uh -oh. but pastor got carried away doing altar call prayer and preach. All the way up to the benediction. <laughs> and Reverend, Wa Reverend Watkins whole <laughs> What happened? Reverend Watkins had bought his whole family and relatives and friends from out of town and got all dressed up and was sitting up there in the front and they were ready. <laughs> and they all was wearing black and red. <laughs> and then Reverend Red man got up there and did altar call and got loose on him and couldn't stop the spirit came in. You should have seen Red Walker slid down in that chair. He was sitting up there proper with his legs crossed when he thought he'd finna preach. But oh, he was mad as hell when he gave that benediction. All them Negroes and got shot for nothing. So it's next week. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the senior choir at uh, First Carry AME, they died last Sunday. <laughs> the whole choir? Oh, every last one of them. <laughs> all the sopranos. <laughs> all the altos. <laughs> all the tenors. No. All the bass. All of them died. <laughs> they, I don't know if they decided they were going to die together, but they all checked out at the same time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We the singers in the crowd dying at the same damn time. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Jenkins. It's another day that the Lord has kept me. Yes, it is. Woke me up in my right mind. All right. Eyes can see. Feet can walk. Hands can feel. Hair that can curl. <laughs> TV that cut on. Water that runs. <laughs> Roof that cover. <laughs> Towels that dry. <laughs> Rags that wash. <laughs> Car that dry. Uh -uh. <laughs> Knife that cut. <laughs> Fork that pick up. <laughs> Spoons that scoop. Cereal boxes that open, <laughs> greens that cook, <laughs> pots that hold, <laughs> blessings after blessings after blessings. <laughs> yes, our church announcement this morning. <laughs> Govern yourself accordingly. <laughs> Congratulations to Deacon Harvey Watkins. You know who that is? Yay! You know, he won the Mustard Greens Eating Contest at the Revival Dinner on Saturday. And he ate... He ate a pound... He ate a pound each of Mustard Greens, Turnip Greens, Collard Greens, and Cabbage in just under four minutes. <laughs> and then he blew up the men's restroom in the fellowship hall. <laughs> he 
blew it up so bad that it would be closed until the second Sunday in September. <laughs> Terrible. Now, if anybody got to go use the men's restroom, they got to walk down to Big Bethel AME. <laughs> And we don't, we hate to risk people going down there because they might stay in June. <laughs> Please pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for Sister Natisha Ellis. Y'all know Sister S uh, Natisha. Sister Natisha Williams. Of course. Uh -huh, we know. You know, she thought she was pregnant by an NBA player. Oh, Lord. And was going to and was gonna move, uh, was going to move her and her mama's sister, Fanny Hanks, out of the project. Uh -huh. But the baby turned out to be from a dude that, uh, worked at AutoZone. <laughs> <laughs> they had to reapply for another Section A apartment. Uh -huh. All the church was hoping that that was his baby. Not the one that worked at AutoZone. The one that's in the NBA that played for the Hawks. Can't say his name, the light skinned one with the big ass from Florida. <laughs> Do y'all know Deacon Al Denson? Yeah. Condolences to the family of him, Dick and Al Denson. He passed on Friday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was 93 mm -hmm. and had been suffering from bronchitis, <laughs> earwax buildup, <laughs> dry back skin, <laughs> ashy knuckles, oh, foot gout. <laughs> Bad knees. <laughs> that ain't what killed him. He went to CVS to get he went to CVS to get his medication. <laughs> he went to, to CVS to get his medication and got that they had <laughs> just got through cleaning those glass doors. And he was <laughs> And he was running in there to hurry up and get his medicine before they closed and he smashed through that glass. <laughs> and that took him out right then. <laughs> that concludes our church announcements. We will see you in a couple of days where more people have died, probably. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bernice. Or either join Big Bell for AME. I hate them bastards down there at that church. <laughs> It's so messy and it smells like white diamond perfume. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Frank. Y'all have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Bernice. You be blessed. You be blessed. I love to praise him. Yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. Yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I Church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. According. Govern yourself. According. Please give what you can in a special offering for Deacon Cleveland Jester. You know he's 86 and he's been put out of his apartment and his truck been repossessed yesterday after he spent all of his rent and car note money on Powerball tickets. 
last week and he didn't win. Now he said that Jesus told him in a dream that he was gonna win. But he But he had went to sleep drunk and it was really his brother Clyde talking to him from the other side of the room. <laughs> Crazy as a road lizard. <laughs> Cannot mix up the Lord with alcohol. <laughs> the Usher Bard, the Usher Bard has been suspended. The Usher Bard has been suspended. What happened? Mother Velma Simmons and Sister Joyce Belkins after they got into a fist fight during the Usher Board meeting on Monday. Now, Sister Belkins had heard that Mother Simmons tell Deacon Jessup that her two-year-old grandson, Pooh Bear, looked like Michael Strahan in the face. And that he be smelling like, smelling like piss diapers and dirty carpet. <laughs> And that's just wrong. Everybody in that church love Pooh Bear. <laughs> and he don't look like Michael Strahan in the face. And I ain't never smelt him. And he smelt like piss diapers and dirty rugs. <laughs> People in this church so messy. The church maintenance crew, the church maintenance crew said they apologize for not fixing the toilets, which got backed up last week. The sewage had backed up into the baptismal pool. Oh. <laughs> and some of the slope. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The church making. <laughs> The church maintenance crew said they want to apologize for not fixing the toilets, Lord. which got backed up last week, and the sewage had backed into the baptismal pool, and some of the slow kids, some of the slow kids got up in there doing choir rehearsal and thought they had found some free Snickers and three musketeer bars floating in the water. <laughs> Can y'all clap your hands? Give it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah. One glad morning when this life is over. Fly away. Oh, one glad morning when this life is over. Church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Now, the pastor is very upset after Saturday's men's day dinner. Why? And he has relieved, 
He has relieved both Ann and Wileen Huff from being in charge of cooking for special events. And they was being lazy and cooked all the chicken and fish grease. <laughs> and the pastor and all his guests said they had to eat wings and drumsticks that tasted like trout. <laughs> Pitiful. You just don't cook nothing in fish grease. <laughs> the church is mourning the loss of Usher Boy, number two Usher Boy member Pat Grissom. You know Pat Grissom, Jane? <laughs> She was a four-time All-Star Usher who specialized. Yes, yeah, she was a four-time All-Star All Usher. <laughs> <laughs> she specialized in keeping that back door closed during prayer and also making sure that nobody took money out of the offering place. She, she ain't dead, though. She ain't dead. She got traded to Second Baptist for two young deacons and a Sunday school teacher. What you mean she got traded? Just like the end way we said in the beginning that she was an all-star. Right. Usher, so she, she got traded. <laughs> they trading deacons and ushers now. And we got a Sunday school teacher out of the deal. <laughs> Made it for the number two First man. Draft pick. Yeah, that's a good trade. And now I know, I know. We gonna mess her though. The annual memorial service is being planned for 93 year old Deacon Burwell Hopkins. <laughs> Jenny, you know Burwell Hopkins. Yeah, what's wrong with <laughs> Well, he passed away <laughs> last Thanksgiving. <laughs> and he had been suffering from stage three scrotum rash. <laughs> <laughs> severely dehydrated tonsils. <laughs> dry, dry earwax buildup. <laughs> neck spasms. <laughs> and soft kneecap disorder. <laughs> but Janet, that ain't what killed him. What killed him? <laughs> he died when his frat brother Deacon Charlie Willis challenged him to a <laughs> challenged him to see who could stick a turkey leg down their throat the farthest. <laughs> and he stuck it all the way in there and got choking and choked himself to death. <laughs> Janet, guess what the last thing he said was? <laughs> So it's film going to be, uh, uh, I think it's going to have it, you know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all later. Well, Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the building! Yeah! Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I need my burdens down, glory, glory. Now, you know, the pastor is hosting the gospel karaoke show over at Spring Hill AME tonight. And he is asking if anybody has a VCR, can you please tape Ricky Smiley for real so he can watch it tomorrow? We don't do DVR. Oh, that means the devil is victorious, right? <laughs> and he will give you a blank tape immediately following morning worship. Jenny, you got a VCR? Yeah! Uh, make yeah. sure you mash record. Mash record. Okay. Mash record. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you want to be on national television... Tonight. 
Come come by the church tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Oh, okay. The crew from CNN, <laughs> they're going to be here to interview 84-year-old Deacon Clarence Booker, <laughs> who had gout surgery last month. And now he's the only person in America to have a wooden leg with a real foot. <laughs> And the foot is ticklish. Anyway, please pray hard, pray hard, pray hard, pray hard, pray hard. For everybody in Sister uh, Elaine Waters family. You know Elaine Waters? Yeah. You know, they dealing with the loss of their 86-year-old father, Herman. <laughs> you know, he was suffering from... <laughs> he, was suffering... he was suffering from chronic constipation. <laughs> chronic constipation. Chronic. Hypertension. Mm -mm -mm. And severe fever blisters. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him. He had went out to check the mailbox on Friday. Jane. He went out to check the mailbox on Friday and had a pocket of them. He had a pocket full of them loose cashews. <laughs> and two, two squirrels ran up under his shorts to get at them nuts. <laughs> and he had a heart attack. <laughs> Miss Janie. Yay. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Good How morning, Miss Janie. Hey, Miss Janie, we missed you. I miss you. Yeah, Miss Janie had a terrible, terrible, terrible car accident, but she's all right, and thank God for you. Oh, huh. You, been, you, you got your radio on, Janie? Yeah. Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. <laughs> the courtesy committee is asking all Delta employees who received a gift basket for your anniversary <laughs> to please return them at the end of service. <laughs> Mother Handspike was confused. Mother Handspike was confused when they told her to give out baskets to all the Deltas this morning because she was talking about everybody who worked at Delta Airlines. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the pastor wants the congregation to know. The pastor wants the congregation to know that if he wins the Powerball, the church would need to find. <laughs> the church would need to find new leadership. <laughs> He this said, like he's the pastor going to leave his congregation? Yeah, baby. He said, uh, Brad, he said he apologized to all the new members who need to be baptized and born again. <laughs> but he said, if he get that $1.5 billion, you can dip your own damn self in that water. Because he'll be headed to the Bahamas the first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> Dip your own set. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be on, on his first flight to the Bahamas. <laughs> so he ain't gonna be able to do it. You hear me, Brother Jeff? Brother Jeff, he said you can dip your own set. <laughs> <laughs> what you think, Brother Jeff? What you Why are you crying? Why are you 
Because how are you supposed to dip your own? <laughs> Preacher say before I don't you. know, but he said he's gonna be on that first flight to the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> 96, 96 year old Deacon Eddie Hopper. Y'all know Deacon Jeff, don't you know Deacon Eddie Hopper? Yeah, Brad, you know Deacon yeah, Eddie Jane. Yeah. You know Deacon Eddie Hopper passed on the glory last night. <laughs> And we need to pray for his wife and family. Okay. Starting the new year off like that. Ain't that pedal? Lord have mercy. And everybody know that he been scattered. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to know the rest, Miss Bernice. <laughs> Leave the blood. Oh, help us, Lord. Yes, organ. <laughs> Every, everybody know that he been scared of dogs his whole life. And he always said that he feared he was going to die because of a dog. Well, sure enough, he was eating lunch with his son, Eddie Jr. at Captain D. And he got he got tickled at something and started laughing so hard that he choked to death on a hush puppy. Dickens is in the building. Yeah. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I need my burdens down, glory, glory, Hosting the gospel karaoke show over at Spring Hill AME tonight. And he is asking if anybody has a VCR. Can you please take Ricky Smiley for real? So he can watch it tomorrow. We don't do DVR. Cause that means the devil is victorious, right? And he will give you a blank tape immediately following morning worship. Jamie, you got a VCR? Yeah! Uh, make sure you mash record. Mash record. Okay. Mash record. <laughs> Now, if you want to be on national television tonight, come come by the church tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. Oh, okay. The crew from CNN, <laughs> they're going to be here to interview 84-year-old Deacon Clarence Booker, <laughs> who had gout surgery last month. And now he's the only person in America to have a wooden leg with a real foot. <laughs> and the foot is ticklish. <laughs> anyway, please pray hard, pray hard, pray hard, pray hard, pray hard. For everybody in Sister uh, Elaine Waters' family. You know Elaine Waters? Yeah. 
You know, they dealing with the loss of their 86-year-old father, Herman. <laughs> you know, he was suffering from... <laughs> He was, suffering. he was suffering from chronic constipation. <laughs> chronic constipation. Chronic. Hypertension. Mm -mm. And severe fever blisters. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him. He had went out to check the mailbox on Friday. James. He went out to check the mailbox on Friday and had a pocket of them, he had a pocket full of them loose cashews. And two, two squirrels ran up under his shorts to get at them nuts. And he had a heart attack.